hi guys how are you welcome back to my channel my name is charity and uh, in today's video i promise to take you to my farm first of all i want to say thank you to you that is watching this video right now if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much i appreciate you i love you and god bless you if you are new to this channel you don't know our channel yet we are at, we are telling you welcome first of all and then i'm begging you to subscribe to this channel and use the notification bell for more videos so that whenever we upload a new video you will be notif notified yeah so i'm gonna be taking you to my garden very next to my house keep watching so guys we are inside the farm in the garden so i'm going to be showing you different crops some i know you already may know and some you may not know so i'm going to be showing you different crops and uh, i'm going to be telling you what some of them are actually used for so let's just start from here So first of all, let me tell you something. You see this dressing now? It was because all through yesterday, which was Sunday, rain fell almost all through the day and it was not funny at all. So I had to get up in the night to wear my daughter's stockings. This is something I rarely do, but the weather was absolutely too cold for my own kind of person. So I decided to cack up. That's why I'm looking like this. So I'm just going to go like this right inside my garden. Okay. So come on, let's go. Hmm, right. <laughs> yeah, guys, so now this is cassava. So in case you don't know, when cassava begins to grow, this is how it grows like. This is the root. So it actually puts, the stem is, uh, when they want to plant it, they cut the stem right inside a healthy soil and when it enters the healthy soil it begins to grow and then this is how it's looking so this is actually a baby cassava that is coming up that is even more baby -er. look at the tiny ones there these are the tiny ones there is this vegetable i remember my mom uses it to make soup i don't know if any of you knows it this vegetable they use it to make soup then even now they still use it in the village but where we are in lagos people don't i don't know i've never seen anybody use this to make soup but i know that this is used for making soup and uh, actually my mother-in-law planted it i don't know the name if i'm able to get the name i'll definitely put it up on the screen for you guys so this is how the seed looks like this is how the seed looks like so let's go and look at a baby cassava this one is still coming up you see the stem See the way the stem is bring the camera close this is the way the stem is so this was actually what was put in a healthy soil and it begin to spring forth from the stem like this so then it grows and then begins to have tubers it begins to have tubers of cassava that you see people you know harvest use for different things like gari abacha a lot of things even starch is gotten from cassava this cassava that you are looking at it has a whole lot of things that you can get from it okay so now this one is coco yam guys this is how coco yam leaves looks like now let me share a story with you with this coco yam leaves you see when we were growing up in the village there's something we do with this coco yam leaves then there were no modern toilets like you have now that you can go to toilets and you pull and you flush it and all those things guys it was not like that that time what we had then was pit toilet or pit latrine that's what they used to call it that time there is this type that my daddy used to make for us he would just build it that's we that were trying to be modern that time he would just build it cross it with sticks and then he would cement it or something like that so it looks more modern than some people's own but then actually this is what people use so when you want to poo poo, you just get it very big one. I may just meet a very big one while we go along and I will show you. So you just get a very big one. 
you cut it there is no size of poopoo -poo you want to poopoo -poo that this will help you to handle okay so for those of you that do big ones this will help you to do it very well so you just cut it from this place put it on the ground sit down jelly like this I, I don't want to spoil my mother-in-law's um uh, what a uh, cocoa yam leaf i would have shown you guys let me get this one that's already spoiled let me get one that's already spoiled so you now get it like this this is sample so i'm trying to show you guys sample this is how it's always usually fresher and bigger i'm telling i'm using this as example so you just put it down in a healthy place that suits you and then you just sit like this, guys, and you do your thing comfortably. You can even sleep while you are doing it. This is how we used to stay that time in the farm. You just stay like this where nobody is seeing you. You just go ahead and poo poo. When you poo poo very well and you are done, you just carry the thing like this. You roll it, roll it as if you are rolling moi moi. And then there is what we call short put that time. You now roll it like this. Some people used to tie it inside nylon. You now roll it like this, roll it like this, and you fling it into any available bush. And it goes there and begins to make some more manure for that farm. So that's how we used to use it that time when we were growing up to do our thing, if you get what I mean. So yeah, let me show you more crops. This one, this looks like yam. Oh. This is yam, guys. This is my yam. So I'm going to show you how my mother-in-law actually raises the stem. There's a way my mother-in-law raises the stem. So this is Bright. Bright, say hi. Yeah, hi, Deborah, say hi. Hi, I hope you enjoy my video of the sandcast. There's a way this is actually set on a stick so that it will be able to keep going and growing very well. So we'll get to that. I'm sure my mother-in-law... I'm sure my mother-in-law has done something about that. So let's keep going. Let's look for more crops in this garden. This should be weed. Guys, this one that you're looking at right now. This one now. These are called weeds. I'm sure some of you already know and weeds are unwanted plants you didn't plant them they just begin to grow and if you're not careful if you don't take them out they make your crops not to grow very well so this is how to weed these things out of your crops so these are nothing they are weeds they are not planted and they are not needed as well so you just get them out so that your plants can do well because if they supersede your plants then your plants will begin to have stunted growth they won't grow well yeah so they will suck up all the nutrients according to bright they will suck up all the nutrients and the plants won't do well so i'm trying to get these ones out see they are weeds they are not useful now this is a growing okra we'll get to see the one that has already grown this did not do very well as you can see some insects must have handled this one rough so it didn't grow well it didn't survive so um these are weeds that i'm actually getting out from the farm so now guys this is a cassava that probably did not develop you see this one this one was planted but it didn't do well so this one actually did not grow well you can see the way it was stuck in the soil but it didn't grow so i don't know why it did not grow probably it didn't get enough nutrients and also this is corn that was planted that did not do very well too this one did not grow this is a snail so guys let's keep going we still have some other crops that we want to greet yeah so guys this is corn this one did very well can you see this just film it from up to down this is so tall far more taller than myself and this is the roof so this corn according to my husband this corn is not up to two months according to him because when we told him we were actually eating from it yesterday it was like wow it was just planted when it was leaving village which is barely a month plus right now so this is not up to two months and it has already grown guys you can see this is a full grown corn right now you can actually take this my mother-in-law is going to be harvesting this corn 
probably tomorrow or today so i'm glad i'm using this opportunity to film it like this so this is a full grown corn and then this is another these are other ones as well these are other ones they are plenty they are everywhere see other ones too see them they are so plenty they are so plenty guys film them from up that looks like rice but it's not rice it's corn flour from the corn so that's all the way from down there all these are corn when you cut it, let they are all corn huh? uh -oh. They are all corn all the way down this um, garden. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, guys. When I told you that there is a way they do it and raise the stem of the yam. So they actually raise the stem of the yam so that the yam can thrive. Because if it's growing on the ground, something can actually eat it up or this something can actually eat it up, you know, um, like... Some people may release their animals like goats and all those things and they can just walk on them or chew them and they will be wasted. So what they do here is to put something like this. You can see this is a uh, achara. Um, what's the name in English? Bamboo stick. Bamboo stick. So they now use it. You see the way they will cross it. They will cross the yam that has grown out and cross it like this. Some of you already know what I'm talking about. If you have grown in the, you know, village or something like that. Right, yeah. So they will now cross it and you see the way that one is going. So if it were to be on the ground, somebody can actually step on the mouth and then cut it out. Somebody can actually step on the mouth and cut it out and that will be the end of the yam. So this is like a safe way to grow yam without you know having it damaged so you can actually grow and mature and become that kind of huge and sweet yam that you have planted okay guys so that's what i was going to show you so i was talking about this before i started telling you what we use it to do this is um cocoa, cocoa yam and this type of cocoa yam you know cocoa yam is of different types there is this one that we used to plant and then we harvest and eat it but this particular cocoa yam Please, guys, if I'm making any mistake, me, I'm not a, I don't know these things very well. I'm just using my little girl experience to explain some things. So if there are things I don't say well, please communicate with me in the comment box and let me know. Please, I'm waiting for your comments. Let me know. So for those of you that see me for the first time, my name is Charity and um, you are welcome to my channel. I am a mother. I'm a wife. I'm a relationship and life coach and i am a teacher and i'm a businesswoman i do a lot of things you did see this my brain so guys um this cocoa yam i told you guys that they are of many types they are of different types so this particular one that i'm showing you now we call it a deofe i'm going to put that meaning on the screen yeah guys so still on the matter now i'm going to be showing you i was actually talking about this scent leaf right and I, I was telling you guys that I love the native scent that it gives. You know what I mean? Like when you are preparing your stew and it's smelling as if you are inside your village compound from Lagos or all the way from Lagos. Your soup, sorry, your stew or your pepper soup begins to smell as if you are cooking it inside your grandmother's kitchen, if you get what I mean. So this is the kind of thing I get when I cook with this thing. So I use it for my stew. I use it for my jollof rice. I use it for, for my pepper soup, anything. Oh, I love how this smells. This is scent leaf. Uh, Yorubas call it efiring. Igbos call it, uh, in this place, they call it, oh, what happened? They call it eshuba. Thank you. Lovely, guys. I love, love, love. I love how it smells, okay? So, guys, this is the plant. And you see that this one is so healthy. It's so, it's so fresh, it's so beautiful, it's so it fine, nice. my god, and it smells nice too. Now guys, this is curry, come, come and show them curry leaves. They better leave them. Come and show them curry leaves. But I feel like these curry leaves did not do well, like it's having issues. The leaves are not, they are green, but they are looking stunted as if something happened to the growth. But I can still get some to make my stew. So this is curry leaves planted by my mother-in-law. So let me just take off the weeds that are around it. Probably these weeds did not allow these crops to do well. So I will still come back and take care of the weeds. So that's what we need. So let's see. Let's do them properly. That's curry leaves. This one. This one's 
there they are curry leaves and they smell so natural these are not the ones that you use a uh, fertilizers for these are the real ones the real deal they smell so good cool. they smell so nice and so healthy they are not fertilized with anything they are just growing on a healthy soil and this is so good guys let me just smell it oh i want to sleep the smell is so good guys and this is how it tastes and smells in your stew and when you are eating this stew it will be tasting like your grandmother's stew you know what i mean guys like your grandmother's stew let me also remind you that this one we call it mpotoede in my place we call it mpotoede like when you want to cook your mother will say go and get mpotoede and use it to cook it. so this is what it is called now guys let's see um, um, ew, pumpkin come let me show them a fresh one let me show them a fresh one and this is the seed no that's not good that's fake ugu seed you it's still growing this one is not ugu or bright this is spirit ugu the spirits they have their own and the human beings they have their own guys i'm so sorry i don't know what i'm saying but when we're growing up there are things that will look like the other one they will now tell us that these ones are spirit ones and these ones are real ones me i don't know but this one is not ugu and that's the seed so i believe they are for the spirit the spirit ugu and the physical ugu so this is the human being ugu and in english this is called pumpkin, pumpkin. this looks so healthy guys ah oh, my god this is so healthy and my mother-in-law tried to secure this ugu with a stem of something so that it will not you know bamboo. collapse the bamboo stem wow this is so healthy look at the leaves there's something we used to cook we call it uh, ikbaun that ikbaun is made out of uh, either water yam or cocoa yam so when you get a very healthy ugu like this my god you just this is so fresh so healthy and it's even still very soft so they will now take it um leaf by leaf like this and put that blended cocoa yam or water yam and fold it together and put it in pot so they will now fold it and roll it together and place in the pot and prepare it and guys that meal tastes so good i wish i can make it in this village before i go back to lagos it tastes amazing so good guys so this is ugo and i'm just going to secure it i don't know if i should join with join it with this one that belongs to the spirit too i better not let me just keep it here my mother-in-law will handle it when she comes yeah and i'm seeing more beautiful ugo. oh my god guys Guys, right, come, let me show them this place. First. Okay, let me show them this place. Uh -huh. This size of Mpoto, you can actually use it for family poopy. This one will size the whole house. You can sheet as much as you like. This is so fresh. I've never seen a soft ugu that looks like this. This one, usually when you see a size like this, it has already grown old and it's hard. But this is so succulent, so soft. If you use this one to make soup, ah, your soup will taste like heaven. My God, this is so good. They are so healthy. So healthy. Look at the leaves. Ah, as if they can use it to lie somebody down. Ah, my God. So white, so soft, so healthy. This is so good. I love it. This sounds scorching. I love it. So let's see if we can still see other things in this my amazing farm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, this is like when Cinderella is walking in her majestic garden. Oh my God! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Wow. This is so beautiful. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so good. Are there still more crops? I think they've exhausted the whole crops here. So we're just trying to walk down this. So 
healthy. Whoa, look at this leaf. This is so big. I'm just going to lie down on it. Oh, oh, this is good for thumbnail. Oh my god. Oh, this is bigger than my mat. It's actually so good. So good. This is so good. I got to see an okra, but there's something that I feel like the okras are not happy around here. I don't know, but there's something about their growth. They are not looking so healthy like the other plants. This is one here. You see the way it's looking. It's not looking so well. It's not looking so well. And it did produce, but they are over. They are old now. You can't even use them. See, see, this one is so bad. You can't even use them. And these are the seeds that actually are replanted. Okay, these are okra seed that you can replant again to get another okra. Let's see another one. Let's see another one. This is another one. This is another one. And there are no seeds on this one. There are no seeds on this one. These are other ones. These ones have seed, but the seeds are not okay. Like they are not doing so well. And they even have a snail. Probably this is what has been eating them. I think so. This is what has been eating. It has been feasting on this okras and it's not allowing them to grow well. We see. Well, guys, so it's been a day. Like, it's been an amazing moment. And I have had fun all the way. This is just beside my house. And all the way from here, we are inside the compound. Actually, this is inside within the compound. And when we started, I actually showed you the one that started all the way from outside. So we have a lot happening inside of this garden. Like, seriously, I love it here. And I've, I think I've shown you like everything we have here. So we're just going to walk down to the end of the garden because Bright has given up on me officially. He's left the phone and left me inside of this garden and said he's not coming back again. So I have to take care of myself from here. Cocoa yams everywhere. There are so many. So many. And that's more ugu. So whenever I want to cook soup, I don't have problems with vegetables. I have them here. Well, guys, we have come to the end of this vlog there are lots of things that i could not show to you in this vlog because it is getting unnecessarily too long so i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe like and share and let everyone see this video bye